All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another multiverse video. I know the last run was cut a little short, but you know, we're back. And this time it's actually an exciting new video because there is a new version of multiverse out. It is a, the as you can see in the upper right, the multiverse of merchants. So this update I believe focuses on stores. There's a couple new features. There's like a crewmate lab, something like that. We'll take a look at it if we can. Um, and like Sylvan, the, the traveling merchant, I think has some updates. So hopefully some uh, cool new stuff that we can take a look at here. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to, to jump in with this. Real quick, if you do want to download this yourself, um, head over to the Multiverse Discord. It's not on the actual official forums yet, just because it's still kind of partially in development. It's not fully done. So if you are interested in the mod and everything, make sure to head out to, uh, to their Discord. But yeah, let's get started. And we'll pick a ship here. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this new version. What ship do we play, though? That's the question. We could go back to, to the Multiverse Cruiser here. We have not tried that yet. Last time we did the the Type B civilian cruiser, which was fun, but we, we did <laughs> kind of ended it a bit poorly. So we might might take a we might come back to it, you know. But I do want to get some more unlocks. So I think we play something uh, different. We could play the Kestrel, you know, because that'll unlock this thing, the Federation cruiser slot A. And we could kind of go down this path. What, what do we need to do to unlock some of these other ships? The NG cruiser, a quest. Okay. Okay. What about, and these are Zoltan ships. So, okay, I see each Zoltan, each race has like an own, its own tab. I never really actually looked for this. this is the Mantis, okay. The Rock, uh, okay. I didn't even really look too closely at all that. But, okay, we pretty much have to do the quest to unlock these, it seems like. Or, def oh, or defeat with any Monk Cruiser, huh? Where are the Monk Cruisers at? Stealth ship. Monk Cruiser, these are slugs. Shell, okay, these are the shell ones. Orchids. Lanius, unidentified. Oh, using any elite ship. My goodness. All right. Well, let's just uh, let's play. Let's play with the Castro Cruiser. You know, it's a little different than the base game, and I kind of want to see some of the changes. I'm pretty sure it has. Yeah, this is like an upgraded. Right. This is kind of like a burst laser Mark II. So I'm definitely okay with using this. Seems pretty good. It has the Jeb mine launcher, which kind of like a missile. A little bit different, obviously. Allows us to delay the fleet pretty easily. So I'll try to use that if possible. If we're loaded up on missiles and we don't really need this thing that much anymore. Um, no augments. That's a, that's a new one, actually. The uh, All the other ships tend to have a, quite a few augments going on. Got an NG, a human, and another human. No other layouts. Okay, yeah, let's just try uh, the Kestrel here. And see if we can find any of the new, new content in this new version here. And if we beat the game, I think we unlock the next cruiser. So that'll be exciting. Let's proceed with our mission. Exit hyperspeed. What do we take? I think um, we don't need a crew member. We only have three, but I don't think we really need a crew member that much. Extra resource. Maybe we'll just take the extra. No, let's take the weapon. I think having that one laser can actually help quite a bit. And then, yeah, so this is new. This is the onboard lab. The onboard lab can be used to install upgrades for your crew and empty beacons. You can install the lab for free with a level two med bay. Otherwise, you must use additional resources. Okay. Now... It seems like it'd be way worth it just to get the level 2 med bay. Then we don't have to waste all of this stuff. The 30 scrap. Yeah, okay, I think we'll wait. I mean, we obviously can't do it anyways, but I think we'll wait and try to get that, that going. Seems pretty interesting. Upgrade your crew. Maybe it means, like, you can turn your regular humans into, like, human soldiers or human medics, whatever. That's my theory, my game theory. Okay. In the meantime, though, we will just, uh... Oh, wow, this is really cool. Look at this. Damn. Shout out to the art dev or whatever who did this, because that looks pretty cool. They got the fuel little icons. Very nice. We're not going to do that just yet. We're actually just going to do our salvage mission, and we found absolutely nothing. Terrific. Okay. It looks like they changed the font as well, actually, on some of these, like the whole laser Jeb. Very cool. Well, let's get going here. We do want to see the merchant, because apparently he may have been changed. So let's come up this way. We got 20 scrap. We got a basic laser in our in our hole or our, our hold and especially while armed pirate ship approaches you hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free well we will never do that we will never do that let's yeah this is really cool with these little tool tips if you will we don't really need to do anything but it's cool okay so this needs to be powered let's do this honestly they're gonna board us okay that's fine we will try our best to defeat... Ooh, a Mantis. Yucky. 
Let's just... What do they have for weapons? Ooh, they got that eye on you. Um, do we vent? I guess we can... Let's vent everything. We'll, we'll leave this unvented and then get you two in here. And then... Uh, I guess we'll depower this for now and get the med big on. And then hopefully... They'll move. Oh, of course they move this way. Great. Okay, well, I guess we will fully commit to this then. Of course they go this way. Yeah, they'll move. They'll move. Okay, meanwhile... Let's get this going on their weapons. I don't want to get hit by too many of these lasers and ions and stuff like that. Are they really just going to suffocate like this? Wow. Okay, they moved. I was going to say, these guys are insane. Nice. Okay. Oh, they got a new little shield uh, icon there. Sweet. Yep, that was bound to happen. That was bound to happen. Although their weapons are down now, which is good. We can close all the doors. I think that guy actually beamed back barely. Why, why, why did I do that? Why'd I do that? There we go. Okay. Just go for... We can turn the medbay off, get the basic laser going. We'll go for shields this time. I don't mind if they have one of these weapons up. But if they have both, then we're in a bit more trouble. Get this going here. Pew. Oh, nice. Bjorn. He's a Zoltan. Wow. What? The... Is that a new sprite for him? We're definitely going to take him. What the... Is he a special type of Zoltan, you think? He is not power to occupy systems health reduced 75 50 damage to enemy yeah seems about the same i guess it's just a new uh new sprite it looks pretty cool they look more like energy instead of just a green human you were gonna go to shields my friend good stuff all right let's go we got one two three yeah, let's go as many jumps as we can before the merchant for good old sylvan all right what do we got here Here's this beacon is home to a Federation outpost, or at least it was, until a band of pirates came by and ravaged the place. There might be some supplies left behind if you can clear out the attacker, so let's attack them. Okay, what do you want to do? Let's uh, do nothing, I guess. So I got a frost laser and a stun laser. Honestly, not great. Not great at all. This one, I think, only shoots one. I don't know how many this one will shoot. A little bit nervous. Okay, the timing. It shot three! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> uh, quickly fire this. Just in time. And then go for their weapons real quick. There we go. Okay, their weapons are all the way down, which is good. That's cool. When they're stunned, they have a yellow highlight like this. There's a lot of really cool like quality of life things in this update already. I'm actually surprised. It's not done, like I said. So don't expect the, the final product necessarily. But it's actually, I was, not, I was not expecting there to be that many changes, but it Seems pretty substantial so far, which is awesome. Okay. Did they change this to a solid bar as well? Actually, not sure. Basically, laser's still down. That's right, though. Okay, everything's back online. Let's get you two to heal, actually, while we're waiting. And... They have three HP? Okay. I would like to get the basic okay you know what? you guys don't need to heal whatever we're fine just get the basic laser online just get the laser online do this all right their weapons are online which is bad but a basic laser should be able to finish the job nice just in time okay good now you guys can heal let's salvage the remaining supplies double reward baby hell yeah okay we have level two oxygen i do notice not the most meaningful upgrade in the world but that's all right so I, how much does a level 2 medbay cost? 40 scrap. Probably worth it for that, so we can test that out. We'll do that later. We will do that later. But for now, we're going to save up. See what we can find. Federation Supply Depot. Nice, we got 7 stuff and 5 hull points. Let's do something on, the, on board. We don't have too much. We could do this, but I think it's not really worth it. Spend 10 extra scrap on the medbay, and then we get it for free. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Form a task. We could lay a trap for the fleet, honestly. Use the mine launcher. Yeah, seven. Dude, I don't I don't need these missiles, man. Take them. Take them. And now we get a bunch more jumps. So we'll go to... to uh, I kind of want one more missile so I can sell more. Actually, you know, whatever. Let's just check him out. I think he's like more of a store now. I don't know. We're going to find out. Looks like you found the traveling merchant yet again. Yes. So let's sell some resources first. We will sell um, 
ammo? Yeah, I wanted to sell 10, but whatever. We'll just sell five missiles, and let's trade. Okay, so he is at a store. Oh, it looks mad weird. Okay, so he doesn't have this stuff, but he has, like, a bunch of augments, I guess. Maybe, maybe, so you know how in the last versions he would sell, like, two drones, or he'd sell two weapons. Maybe it picks a random two things, so, like, augments in this case, and then it just has them. So maybe it would be two things of weapons or two things of drones. I don't know. That is just my hunch but having said that let's see we got engine disabler yep we know a pair bot field conserver emergency manual hey we could get this in 25 jumps it'd pay for itself if we get the <laughs> free 25 or one scrap every time emergency generator repair bot dispersal i i wanted i was kind of hoping there'd be like the advanced scanners here because we did not unfortunately start with that on the ship Okay, that's okay, though. That's really cool, though. I, I, hopefully we can run into him again, maybe at the end of the run. Sometimes he shows up in the final sector and see if see what it looks like then. Another store, huh? One, two, three, and then we'll come this way a little bit, maybe. Yeah, we should be fine. We got so many delays. Let's actually make some upgrades, though, real quick. Because, well, I think we're, I think we're pretty powerful. Getting the level two shields would be good, but I think I'd rather save up. We're so close to a store, and it's just sector one. We'll be fine, right? <laughs> knock on wood stress speaking to a tiny asteroid belt you find a small ship struggling to maneuver let's offer them assistance we will try to shield our ship and they got blown up but we got seven scrap whoa whoa what is this um store sieve i do not recall seeing this in a previous version maybe i never found it but i mean we got to check it out right do we have oh, i should have just gone to this store one two <laughs> Three. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to make it. We're just going to go to this store and then down. Let's just try it. I mean, it says it's a store, so it's probably what I want anyways. Oh, the orchids. There's only one other ship at this beacon showing minor damage. They explained they had a run-in with pirates and are now selling off their equipment. We'll see what they're selling. Let's do something aboard a ship. Um, well, maybe not. I want that med bay. So they got drone control. They got the recon boarding drone. It's still not sold on this thing. Well, it takes like no damage, so you pretty much can just survey the other ship. Firebomb conservative beam. Might have to get that, to be honest. I think that could be really good. We'll probably phase it out for something. Not sure. Apparently, by the way, they nerfed the pre a little bit. Someone in my comments said that. I don't really know if it's true or not. Um, which... I'm not going to say it was due, but we did have some pretty powerful runs with the uh, the pre flak in some of our videos. But I do love that weapon. I hope they didn't nerf it too much. I think we're going to buy this. Shield Jammer. Iron Blast 2 can be good as well, to be honest. But Firebomb. I think we I think we got to take the Conservative Beam. Let's do that, especially because it, it's like we could just use it immediately since it doesn't need power. And then sell wise, I don't think we're selling just yet. So we can do this, which is cool. And then a distress. So the, the store sieve, what does that mean? Like sieve, I don't, I don't really, it was green and now it's just a regular store. So I'm not really sure. Maybe uh, somebody in the comments knows, or I'll ask the devs. All right, let's see, so we got one, two, three, four. Nice, we can hit this, five, six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Nice. So let's now, now that we did this, we can get our shields online when we get the enough scrap. Look at this. Glad I already glad I bought the beam weapon. Hell yeah. And then, so I want to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to make one extra jump. Nice. Let's let's, uh, let's get some combat here, man. I want to blow someone up. And we're exploring. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This uh, third time's a charm, right? We've We've talked to them before. Let's, let's say yes. Sure. I, somebody said that if we do the same dialogue, we might unlock them. I don't know. All are welcome, though. And then this one. Okay. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But I'll take the scrap. You know, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get in one more fight, maybe, and then we'll upgrade our shields. Or maybe just get some more money and then do it. Let's destroy the guard. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So they've got a little bit of a heavy laser situation. It's all right. Bum, bum, bum. 
and an ion bomb, I believe. Shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Depending on what, they usually put this in the dumbass spot, so if we get lucky, then maybe. So we'll fire the basic laser to take their sh Well, no, let's fire the whole laser. No, we'll fire the basic laser. On, it doesn't really matter, do this. Give it a sec, though, for the conservative beam. Fire, hopefully it lands, and then we'll do the conservative beam like this, I think. No, I'll do it like this, and then fire the whole laser on their shields. There we go, nice. Okay, their weapons are pretty much all the way down. Ion bomb, not concerned. Okay, a little concerned, but their laser's not up anyway, so whatever. And then we can do this, I guess. Get the whole, the whole laser will kill them if we actually hit their empty hole. If we do this, then. But I think the laser will fire. There we go. Okay, easy money. I'm liking this so far. We're doing pretty well. Ooh, nice, free guardian drone. Every time you destroy an automated ship, you think about how some rebel workers' hard work has just been put to waste. Well, they're a rebel, so nobody cares. Auto ship appears to have an ex excess of drone parts. Wow, lots of drone parts. Nice. One, two, three. Let's get that shield upgrade, though. Boom, boom. We don't have the scrap for the actual... Whatever. Whatever. We can micromanage it if we really need to. You guys need any assistance? Uh... I really am curious how this would work. To me, it just seems like you'd lose a crew member, but is there like an event later where you can get them back? Like, I don't want to lose a crew member, so I'm not going to do it, but we're also a bit against like the timer here since we're right on the edge. So I'm going to fortunately say we can't help. And I wanted to get an onboard upgrade, but we don't have very much money. So let's continue. Continue onwards. Pirate vessel. Engine upgrade for three fuel. We're a little... I'm not, I'm not going to say low on fuel, but we don't have that much. But I th we seem to run into this vent every time, by the way. I'll do it again. Whatever. If we run out of fuel, then so be it. We'll see some distress event. Beacons. multi supply depot. Great. Okay. Well, they didn't give us really anything. Let's go here. Oh, there's a ship. Nice. Okay. Hostile Multiverse Rebel Cruiser. They've got one of these. Solid targeting. Not a problem. I think it would be probably better to do... This. No dodge, yes. But I think they're, if they don't time them very well, which they never really do, like, we should be fine. Yeah, look at that. Easy. Easy. Okay, fire this in a moment. And then get the conservative beam doing... Ooh, that's, that's the stuff right there. And then whole laser on the hole, honestly. Yep. I was going to say, that should just kill them. Don't need to go for their weapons if they got blown into space dust. And do nothing because... Oh, we don't quite have enough for the med bay. Damn it. It's okay. That is okay. Next sector, here we come. Nebulous regions or unmapped nebula. I'm going to go to the nebulous regions because the unmapped one means we have to find the exit beacon and... Could lead to some problems, potentially. Potentially. Okay. Exit hyperspeed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we have to do that here also. That's okay, though. So now let's quickly do our salvage mission. Nice. We got stuff this time. There's distress right off the bat. Okay. Let's get... I want this medbin, man, but I need more power first. So we'll do this. We can do that now. Okay. Good. Head up to the distress, see what we got here. See what's popping off. Too much gas. We're going to try to rescue them again. Oh, Hector! No. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, Kind of a bummer. I think I'm okay not having a weapons man right now, though. Maybe we'll go to one of these distresses and get a crew right back. One, two, three... Right, we don't know where the exit is, so it's probably like one of these. Let's go up here first. See what we got. Let's search further. 22 bucks. Hell yes. What about here? Ooh, outside the nebula. Okay, so a water, large water planet from which there appears to be 10 separate distress calls. A large cubicle structure can be seen from the planet's surface. It's inactive, and you can't tell what it is from this distance. I don't trust it, but we're going to pull closer. It appears that all the distress beacons are originating from the same area, a large crater with a massive shipwreck. The structure you noticed earlier begins to unfold, revealing itself to be a large gun. 
You won't have much time until it starts firing on you, so you'll have to pull away now if you want to avoid damage. We can take a few hits, bro. Seven damage? Nobody cares. While the giant cannon charges, you investigate the wreck. It's huge, probably the size of one of the Rebel fleet ships. Not a little bigger. Suddenly, a giant beam fires from the structure, tearing through the ship's engines. Continue. Look at that. It's quite the scratch, but you'll be able to fix it. You'll find a crash. You find a crashed life pod with an engineer inside. Surprisingly, still alive. Once they're stabilized, you figure you might as well investigate the area around while you wait. Investigate the crash site. A gigantic Leviathan-class creature patrols the waters around the wreckage. That's pretty badass, not gonna lie. But you're able to sneak around it. Though most of the ship is on fire, you find lots of random fire extinguishers lying around. A tablet-like device with sector maps and a hangar bay with some mech suits. What? This is very interesting. Okay. Map data would be useful, but that, bro, that's like, that's lame. Extinguishers, I guess, would give us the fire extinguisher augment. But the some scrap and parts. Oh, I see. Okay, so I think the mech suits would just give us maybe drone parts and scrap. I was thinking it maybe would give us like an actual mech suit. I don't know what that would really mean. Scrap would be good. I think I'm going to take the extinguishers, though. I think that could be kind of useful. Well, not take the scrap. Yeah, 31 scrap is pretty substantial. Engine got hit. Okay, so Hector, or Riley, sorry. Hector got killed. <laughs> Riley's good at repairing. Welcome to weapons. Remember when I said, like, literally 35 seconds ago, maybe we'll get another crew from one of these distress beacons? Let's actually go, boys. Okay, Tack is doing his best work fixing that engine. Let's come down here as well. Seven damage to the hole is, like, pretty irrelevant in the long long uh, term. Okay, classic event. Let's go down to the surface and investigate. We're going to, again, probably lose a crew immediately. No, we got Charlie. Hell yeah. Oh, Charlie's already good at engine, or weapons. I mean, in that case. This way we can have Riley move around to repair stuff. If, like, he can leave the doors if we need to. Charlie is a slug. Nice. Okay, well, that went pretty well, all things considered. That was a really cool event. Not going to lie. Got shot at by a big robot gun. I think we go down and across this way. With 82 scrap, though, we should probably make an upgrade, huh? Let's get the med bay. And then let's get another power. That way we can get this going. And then if we get an empty beacon, we can hopefully get this crew thing <laughs> going. So we shall see if we find an empty beacon. The nebula at this beacon is thinner than usual. A pirate station is operating nearby, though it doesn't appear to receive much business. Um, dude, I kind of want to attack them. Let's ask to trade. Great. Um, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Well, should have blown him up. We got probably like eight jumps, maybe. So let's go one, two, three. Let's make a beeline, Loki, and then that way we can figure out where to jump once we find the exit beacon. Okay, shortly after you arrive, Ripple jump ship, uh, ship jumps nearby. There looks to be no escape. Prepare for a fight. Let's do nothing. Mind control? Not great. Oh, we should actually maybe put... Charlie and piloting. We'll, we'll have to think about that in a sec. We will have to think about that because even though he's good at weapons, you gain weapon skill so quickly, and having a slug in piloting is a really good kind of thing to have, usually. So let's get ready to fire. Okay, dude. Are you, you done being a, an asshole yet? We have no dodge. Should have probably had someone fight him. It's okay, though. We'll do this. Excuse me? I can't. It's kind of bizarre. Do this. Nice. We took their missiles down just in time. Hell yeah. Should have probably fired this as well, but there we go. That's fine. We'll pivot the hull laser to hull. And their engines are still up, so we'll get the beam like this. Uh, no, I'll do this. There we go. That should be fine. Should be all right. Just getting this fixed. Okay. Do we put Charlie here? Trying to escape, I don't think that's gonna happen, my guys. Yeah, let's put the let's put the slug, even though he's got the weapon skill. And then we'll put you, because you can repair, and then you in here. I think I like that a little bit better. I know he's good at weapons, but like like I said, dude, you gain weapon skill so quickly. So I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay, let's just go this way. 47 scrap left to Oh, it wasn't an empty beacon, never mind. Uh let's search for further. Okay, Mantis Vessel stands victorious over its rival, a fellow Mantis ship. They aren't one to pass up another fight, so they immediately lock onto you and attack. 
They're going to board us with one Mantis. But we have doors now. It's going this way into Oxygen. Okay. Oh, there's actually an airlock here. That's pretty okay. Oh, he's going this way now. So we have airlocks in the back. We have them down here. Or no. There's <laughs> a lot of asymmetry, asymmetry in these ships. We got airlock here and then airlock here. And like a weird Z pattern. It's okay though. Functionally the same thing. And then we have ones here and one. We have a lot of airlocks. I like that. So he's moving. Should be. We could fight him in the med bay. But he's moving again. I don't think he'll get too far. And keep it a moment. I mean, this ship can't do anything to us, really. So, <laughs> not too concerned. Alright, fire this. Fire this, like that. And then fire the whole laser just on their hole. Yeah, they're dead. Dude, we're, we're killing it. Not gonna lie. And we got Storm. The Manta ship is in poor condition, but it appears one of their crews survived. You avenge me and prove good warrior. I fight along you for glory. Hell yeah, we got Storm. You gonna die? Thank you. So Storm, not here. Kind of forgot we had that drone. Is a regular Mantis, right? Okay. You are gonna go into sensors, I suppose. Nice, we're filling out our crew pretty uh, pretty nicely here. I like the diversity we got going. There's the exit. Okay. Six jumps. We have one, two, three. Uh, <laughs> well, kind of finessed ourselves. Oh, well. Whatever. We're just gonna come this way. And great, we have one of these. Let's let's manually search. Oh, whoa, 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 hell yeah. Okay, we got the anti-bio laser. A specialized laser that does high bio damage, but no system or hole damage. I'm going to hold on to this for sure, because if we find any events that require us to kill crew, this will be super helpful. It only shoots one charge, but like we can totally make that work. So I'm going to keep it here, and I think... The chip. Put, all right, put the Jeb in our storage for now. Yeah, okay. And let's get out of here before our oxygen gets too low. Sun, okay. Decide to attack us instead. Let's pause, get this back online, get this going, and get that. Okay. This is annoying. They're hacking us somewhere. Piloting, not great. They have an anti-bio something of their own. You get in here and distract them. I don't want them blowing up our shields too much. And let's just get ready to attack this slug ship here. Alright, you go back. My control probably... Yep, yeah, I was going to say wear off. Okay. So they fire the anti-bio beam, or laser, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Fire this. Get this ready here. Like that. And then whole laser. We're just going to go on shields here. There we go. They're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. We're, getting, we're doing pretty well right off the bat here. Let's get Bjorn and Nick Lang to heal. Oh, right, we're in a fire. Yikes. Are we going to be able to get out in time? Not sure. I think we might have, low-key. Okay. Husk of an empty trapper vessel drifts in the nebula. Around it lays a few mines, but it's hard to tell whether they are still active. We're just going to scrap it. It's probably going to come to life, but I'm going to do it anyways. Yep. It appears you were mistaken about the trapper being empty. Ship activates as you move in, and senior intentions is hostile. They attack. Indeed they do. They have a mine launcher. And then there's literally one NG on board here. Huh? What in God's name? What in God's name? Okay, we're good though. Let's get our dodge up temporarily. Maybe it'll work. Confirm did not work. It's okay though. Let's vent that. I'm not too worried about the med bay being damaged. And we'll fire. On here. Can't quite reach. That's okay. We'll just do this anyways. And just kill them. Nice. Med Bay is still on fire. Miss! No! Oh! We got another Jeb Mine Launcher. Nice. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Will you guys come help put this out? You come fix this. Jeez Louise. We're all right, though. We're doing good. Oh, auction might want to power that up, by the way. Might want to power that up. Get you two in here. Do this. Get you out. Get you in. All right. What? Oh, excuse me. Lots of Jeb mine launchers. Probably don't need more than one, I would assume. 
go to the exit. We might make one more jump, although we're pretty low on fuel, actually. I kind of, well, not, I don't regret, but we did, you know, spend three on an engine upgrade. Let's explore. Oh, we found the scanner event again. Nice. And we're going to do something. We're going to do the onboard lab. Install the lab for free. He's done it. Okay, check the onboard lab. Select species you want to upgrade or view currently installed modifications for blank. Oh, I see. It. Or view currently installed modifications for. Okay. We can upgrade the lab. Humans NG Zoltan. We can go to the Zoltan. What? Dude, this is crazy. Okay. Overclocking. Does that make it do two power? Because that would be kind of broken if it does. Hard light shield. I don't know what any of these do. <laughs> oh, uh, um. Lab menu for Sultan. Hard light shielding. Emitter calibration. Dude. Oh, this takes six fuel, actually. <laughs> okay, wait. We're not going to do that. Let me just take a peek at some of these. Combat systems. Okay, this probably boosts his combat power, if I had to guess. Nanite efficiency. That might give him the nanite ability. Environmental adaptation. Probably resists environmental stuff. Excuse me. What is... What are these... Sec? Pre... Like, what, did, what does this mean? Pre. Pre. Pry? This is... It looks like defense. Priority reallocation. It, it probably tells you what it does if I click on them. <laughs> That's kind of how I got in trouble with the X augments. I'm just kind of taking a, a peek at some of them first. Selective killing. Technophobic rage. Sounds like something out of... Stellaris. Spicy pheromones. Okay. Sue's Bish. <laughs> Slave Master. Maybe this, this means... Uh... Oh, it's probably Separatist NG. Okay. Separatist NG and then like some defensive NG. Wasn't that another type or something like that? Defender. Neuron Preservation. Neural Redirection. Interesting. Humans. This is pretty cool. Alright, let's, let's pick something here. Let's pick uh, something that doesn't cost fuel. Maybe this turns him into... I don't know. Hold up. Hold, hold your horses. Let's get Technophobic Rage for 40 scrap and one drone part. Oh, it does tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mantis lose their movement speed buff, but gain a 25% sabotage damage buff. Okay, I see. That's actually... I'm not too interested in that. 7% buff to movement speed, combat damage, repair speed, and health. Pretty good. Um, what about teamwork neurons? Humans gain a 10% buff to combat damage and repair speed while in the same room as other humans. Okay, not that useful right now, at least. Natural intuition. New human crew will always have at least one level in all skills. Pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool. Combat systems. Combat damage is increased to default value, okay? And max health is increased by 10. However, repair speed is decreased by 25%. Don't want that. I like NG's repair, boys. Nanite efficiency. Repair speed is increased by 15%. See that? That is up my alley. Uh, NG gained full suffocation immunity. Also pretty good, actually. Not gonna lie. Separatists can heal at normal speed while in their nano mode, but those lose the ability to phase through doors. Must have the lab upgraded. I see. I see. Defenders can no longer fight crew, but their repair speed is tripled. What? Zoltans lose 40% fried double power. Interesting. So you can literally use them as like batteries. Dude, I kind of want to get this. Like he's going to die like immediately. <laughs> double power, dude. I don't have the fuel. Okay. Interesting. What are the slug ones? 75% stun immunity. Okay. Lose the ability to sense crew on the other ship, but gain a 10% boost to combat, sabotage, and repair speed. Okay. Slugs no longer lose skills when being cloned. Okay, kind of niche, but but nice. Let's get on their own. The five second delay. <laughs> Sorry if you guys, I, I'm just very interested and I want to see all these. No longer heal from sources like the med bay. It's interesting. What was this one? Shield other crew in the room and themselves. I can't directly fight anymore. Okay. Uh, all the I don't have that much fuel. I don't really want to <laughs> spend something that costs fuel. That one I don't really care about. Neural strengthening. 
That's, I don't really care about that. Like, this is not going to help me that much. More more, more than likely than not. I want the double battery one. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to hold off on making one of these upgrades. We'll do this in the next episode. Um, once we once we get a little bit more fuel. Oh, oh my, I see. So, is this a, this is a crystal store up here. So the sieve store, I guess, meant it was orchids, maybe? We'll, we'll find out. We can, well, we're going to make the jump because we have a couple jumps left. But yeah, we'll, we'll make, uh, once we get a little bit more fuel, we'll make one of those upgrades to our crew. Because that sounds really cool. Transmission from a nearby crystal ship, but it comes out heavily garbled. You don't have a clue as to what they're saying. Let's try and translate. Try for a while to decipher his message, but during the silence, the crystal pops back on, now speaking perfectly normal. Apologies, I'm still accustomed to not having to use my translator. To not have, yeah, okay. I'm a merchant vessel. Let's do something on board the ship now. Let's do nothing. And what do we got? Okay. Our cargo hold is completely full. Take this, take this. We'll keep one jab mine launcher. The scanner sells for like nothing, but I don't see myself using it that much. And I want more cargo space. And then, Ion Blast 4, huh? Dude, I kind of want the Flamberge. Not going to lie. It does system damage, which is like pretty good. I think we'll go Flamberge, like, because why not? <laughs> um, ooh, Cloaking, though. Cloaking, though. Dude, let's get the freaking Flamberge. Let's do it. And then we're going to buy a bunch of fuel. Fix, like, once. And then I think we're good for now. We do need to make some upgrades to actually get it online, which we could do right now, but I think I'm going to hold off... I like doing what we're doing now. We'll get the Flamberge on in the next episode at some point. Let's get some more ship power, though, because we're still kind of low on that. Like that. Perfect. Okay. And we got nine fuel. Let's head back to the exit beacon. A little bit of a wasted jump, but, you know, who cares? And we will jump to the next sector. And I think we will go civilian rim worlds, eh? Hmm. We don't have boarding this time, so I think we go to the automated shipyard. But okay, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you like the new version. Hopefully there's a ton of stuff to find and kind of experiment with. I'm really excited to, to do something with this crew upgrading bay, whatever, lab, that's what it's called. So yeah, let me get, uh, know what you guys thought in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, everything like that. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.